after Saquon, we have Austin Eckler. We have to be so much higher than consensus on this, or than uh, you know the the quote unquote pros that we, than we are in Austin Eckler. Uh, yeah, he let's, my, let's talk about it. He's my running back six. I thought that when I tweeted Austin Eckler RB six or better this season, it got a little bit of traction on the Twitterverse. If you don't follow us on Twitter, we are at the FF Sackos. Um, because not very many people are on the Austin Eckler, you know, like solid RB1, RB6 or better train. His current is running back 10 in ADP. I don't. He's going in yeah, the he's second going, round. He's going at the be- beginning of the second round. I would love to take him there. Oh, yeah. That's a slam yeah. dunk. Yeah. Like, that offense is going to be so much better this year in year two of Justin Herbert. Like, I'm so excited for what that offense is going to do. And Eckler with, is just a reception mis- machine out of the backfield. Like, he had 54 catches last year. And there was some games where it's just like, oh, my God. Like, he had two, got- two, games, two games with 11 catches and 80-plus yards. Like, that's fantastic. I got the stat for you right here. In eight games with Justin Herbert under center, he had 63 targets. That's 126 a season. That's like wide receiver one value. That's insane. I remember as a Keenan Allen manager, I was furious when Eckler came back because it destroyed the obscene workload that Keenan Allen was seeing. Like the guy is just absolutely obscene. If he can stay healthy somehow, some way, he is a bona fide RB1. Lock it, loaded, top five, easy. Easy. Yeah, he, he missed six games last year and ranked fifth among receptions and receiving yards from the running back position, um, which is telling you something, how, how much they were utilizing him there. And, you know, he only had three touchdowns last year, um, I think. Is that right? I think he only had three last year. Um, two in the last two games. So that's one of those things where touchdown regression just on or progression uh, that we, that we've touched on historically, he's going to score more than three touchdowns this year. It's just going to happen. Um, so that's why we haven't ranked so high. I have him at four. Um, I think you're going to get insane value at the end of end of round one, beginning of round two for Austin Eckler. And I think he finishes as a top five back. Yeah, uh, I would say, I mean, I said top six. I have uh, guys in front of him I have that you don't are Saquon and Zeke. And I think that's, is that pretty much it? Anybody else? No, I don't think so. No, that's it. But man, Austin Eckler, if he, it's just, I think it's cause, just because he's so freaking small. Like fantasy, fantasy pros has him at, let me scroll down here and find him running back 12. <laughs> That's too low. That's obscene. They have him behind Joe Mixon. Why? Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> God, I want to play in people. I want to play in leagues where people like only use fantasy pros. But <laughs> Joe Mixon, that's bad. Well, I know it's laughable. What's his current ADP? Where's he going? Uh, let's see. Be- beginning around two. Yeah, second but pick around two. Running back number wise, what number does that amount to? Running back ten. Oh my yeah. goodness! He's yeah. going as the tenth running back off the board and on sleeper right now. Yeah, so he's he's going behind Nick Chubb, who for oh. some reason is the the <laughs> oh. the the sixth ranked running back. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, Zeke, and Aaron Jones, <laughs> and then you can find Austin Eckler. Who, who before he got hurt was going in the same spot as Cam Akers, which is crazy. Bananas. All right. Yeah, Austin Eckler. Get you some Austin Eckler. He's a huge value at the beginning of the second round. If I'm drafting and for some reason I pass him and pass on him at the end of one, if I if you, I you wouldn't. If Travis Kelsey is there, I would certainly think about it. That's fair. It, and Travis Kelsey should be there at the end of one. Well, some drafts. Maybe. Maybe. There's a case for him to be the 101 of any draft, any format. Um, 
But mm-hmm. but if I do pass on Eckler and the at the end of one, I am taking him for sure. First pick in round two. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.